Okay then, Tarnished, we are back, and today we have got the White Mask. As usual, you can tell that we are setting you guys up for a new build that's going to be coming up later on in the week. But right now, we have got the White Mask. This is for a blood build, and this is practically a must-have if you are into the blood-style gameplay. This is absolutely a mental helmet, and this works very, very well. Now, the main status behind it states the following. That blood-stained, faintly grinning white mask worn by war surgeons who were effectively mercy killers. The Lord of Blood's curse enlivens the wearer when blood lighting occurs, slightly raising the attack power when the blood loss is nearby. This is where it's going to be extremely crucial because when you are using those blood style weapons, and at the moment they are quite prevalent with the arcane style weapons as well, this means that you are going to have an extended damage mount. Now we're going to go ahead and head over to this area right here, which is where the main rune farms are. For those of you guys who don't know about those, the link will be down in the description. And we are going to head to these three locations right here on the map. These three locations are going to have three blood fingers. Now these blood fingers are a little bit tedious just because mainly because of the location that they are in. And you are going to find that it is a little bit of an annoyance because there are going to be some ginormous birds around as well. And they are going to cause you a little bit of hassle. So make sure that you tread carefully, tread quietly and take out the birds in between taking out these blood fingers. Highly recommend the first one right here that you just sneak up because I made the mistake you'll see here of actually procking the bird at the same time. So I had to fight both of them, which is quite frustrating to say the least. So make sure that you're sneaking about and when you get jumped off your horse it's a good decision to just stand still and wait for that blood finger to come to you so that you don't have to deal with the hassle from that we're going to run just directly east and make our way up to these rock figures and it's going to jump you off again this is where the second one is going to perform and you are going to want to take out a couple of these dogs before the next one gets here and we are going to just simply go ahead and take this out okay making sure you're careful because there is another bird just opposite from that point we're going to go ahead and take out that bird that is just over there because that's where the next location is for the final blood finger that is going to get us this white mask so we're going to make our way down and we're going to go ahead and be careful of these geysers because they do bloody hurt we're going to take out the bird and then we are going to make our way through to the third blood finger which is going to be the final move for this so called like mini quest line for this armor set now you do get a full armor set but we're not bothered about it it's going to be solely revolved around the right mask so like I said, when you do take out these things, you will obviously get quite a few other bits, but don't worry about it. So we're going to head over to this bit right here in the crevice corner, and it's going to jump you off again. Just wait around here, and it will spawn directly in front of you. These are not that difficult, although depending on your level, that may obviously be me swallowing my words a little bit. But once you've taken that out, you will obtain the full armor set right here for the war surgeon and the white mask is going to be the only thing that you really want to focus on this is a absolutely op and a must have for those blood builds so make sure you go ahead and grab it now to make sure that you can be the most powerful blood warrior that you could possibly be if you haven't already smash that like button and subscribe post notifications turned on thanks again for watching guys appreciate your faces and as always i'll see you in the clouds